welcome into another video today. I'm super excited to be able to continue the series where we go through weapon suggestions that all of you have left in the comments of my previous videos. So that's super exciting and I'm thoroughly enjoying this series. So thank you for all of you for leaving comments. So next question is how many operators do you currently have at the max exfil streak? You can see I currently have five. The other question I wanted to find out is how long have you guys been playing zombies for? You can see on screen at the time of recording we're at 17 days and 13 hours. So today we're going to be checking out a Renetti that was put down in the, in the comment sections and I'm really excited to go and check out and see how this weapon performs inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. So if you guys are new around here and you're interested to find out how weapons perform inside of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, just how viable weapons are, then you're definitely in the right place. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so you do not miss any future future uploads for myself on Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. As well, you will find down in the comments section the links for both of my streams where I have tons of fun. We play some custom zombie maps from Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2. If you're interested in that stuff, it'd be awesome to have you guys come join us in stream. Without further ado, let's get to the Red Ending video. All right, welcome into another video in our series today. We have a suggestion from the comments, which was to use a Renetti. I was also given the build to use, which uses the aftermarket kit. So I'm really excited to uh, kind of check this one out. This has been an absolute blast being able to do these videos from the suggestions that you guys have been leaving in the comments. So keep it up. It's been tons of fun. I'm really enjoying this. We brought a few goodies in today. I've got my ether blade. I've got my mags of holding. I like to bring mags of holding if I'm running, um, you know, uh, magazines that are small. So pistols, handguns, things like that are definitely gonna have smaller magazines. I try and run the mags of holding for it. You definitely don't need mags of holding though. Uh, it just saves you from reloading basically. So uh, you can see here when we spawned in, we grabbed our perks only. We went and grabbed ourselves a bounty in tier one. So we have nothing on the weapon. We have no rarity. We have no ammo mods and we have no pack a punch. And we go and take on a bounty in tier one and i was impressed like this renetti with the conversion kit on it certainly does like just slaps inside of tier one i was super surprised at how strong this was against our first bounty of the day which was a mimic and he went down pretty much effortlessly in tier one which was awesome i got a nice self revive out of that and uh, crowd freeze and then we went and put on what i brought in which was the legendary tool and napalm burst so that we can now grab our second bounty inside of tier one and see how legendary with napalm burst will do with this renetti it's got the heat stroke blueprint on it if you guys are wondering and uh, i just picked up our second bounty here which was a mangler in uh, tier one and we've got legendary napalm burst on the renetti and it just melted literally melted the the bounty the mangler had no chance so the next thing we need to do is get the weapon to pack a punch so we went and found pack a punch on the map it took a minute though <laughs> it wasn't anywhere nearby um, that i could see unless uh, i must have missed it or something but i didn't see it so we went and found it down uh closer to uh the docks down there is where we found our pack a punch so we went and marked that went over there and got our gun to pack a punch tier one so our legendary tier one pack a punch with napalm burst. And so we went off and grabbed ourselves uh, another bounty contract right here in tier one to see how much stronger this is. We're pack a punch one now with legendary and napalm burst inside of tier one, picking up a bounty mangler. And this should be just an absolute cakewalk. And it, it definitely is. This, this gun is so strong. What a great suggestion. Thank you so very much for suggesting this. This has been super fun. I highly recommend everybody go and give this weapon a try i was having tons of fun with this so now of course we have to go off to tier two and see just how strong this is against a tier two bounty single pop with uh legendary and napalm burst now for the zombies in tier two this gun is definitely something that is viable it is completely strong uh, crowd control is definitely not an issue inside of tier two and we're only single pop here so you can definitely see this is going to be something that's viable. The other nice thing about this, as we pick up our bounty inside of Tier 2, which was a Mimic, is in that as a handgun, you have that mobility. So running around and moving with this weapon is is easy. You're, you're, you definitely got the mobility, which is super awesome. We just stood here and tanked the Mimic with this Renetti handgun. It was awesome. I got myself a perk out of that reward, which was pretty sweet. 
the next thing to do, of course, was to head over to Pack-a-Punch and get the pa the Renetti, sorry, off to Pack-a-Punch level two. So we went and visited Pack-a-Punch, it was on the bridge, and we got ourselves to Pack-a-Punch level two. Now we needed to find a bounty inside of tier two to test this as it's double Pack-a-Punched. And now I want to see how that handles, a, you know, a bounty in tier two. We can tell at pack one, it was really strong. So pack two, how does it do against the zombies? Even better. Um, it just literally mows right through them. You will not have an issue with this at all. So if you just want to run around with a weapon inside of tier two, that's going to be nice and strong. And you don't need to get a triple back punch. I would suggest the Renetti with the after marker conversion kit. Um, and the build uh, is in the video, so stick around for that. And again, let's work together and see if in the comments we can come up with maybe a super amazing build for this weapon so we can just all help each other out because that's what it's all about at the end of the day so now we had to go and get pack a punch tier three on our weapon go grab the rest of our perks so we went and marked our uh wonder fizz machine in tier three went and grabbed our last of our perks at the wonder fizz machine and then it was time to see you know what can this renetti do we're triple packed we got all of our perks on and guess what i ran into aha a mega abomination so you know we had to go and take him on um, but this one was actually close to one of the cheese spots I like to use when I'm dealing with contracts, HVTs, bounties, or mega abominations inside of tier 3. So we got him to kind of follow me over to our cheese spot here, which is just up these stairs. For some reason, the mega abomination will follow you to the stairs, but he won't come upstairs. So that makes it a super amazing spot to be able to take out elites and mega abominations and uh, any other bounty contracts and stuff like that. But the catch is... If your bounty contract spawns too far away from one of these cheese spots, you won't be able to drag them over here. It's just gonna be the mega abominations that are wandering around tier three or the elites that are in tier three. So you can see here, this Renetti made easy work of that mega abomination inside of tier three. Went over and checked our loot. We got some decent cash, a large backpack, and hey, what do you know? A juggernaut score streak. I was super happy about that. So we had to go pick up another bounty because I really wanted to show you guys a bounty mega abomination. That's always the goal is to try and show you guys a mega abomination bounty contract and see how well the weapons do against that. As in my opinion, I feel like that is the strongest contract uh, to do. So we got ourselves uh, an HVT just in tier three, which was that mimic there in front of our contract, which was a mimic. And you can see how quick the HVT in tier three mimic went down. And we've got our mimic bounty contract chasing me around. Um, I had to deal with a bunch of zombies. I've noticed that a lot that when you're you're in tier 3 and you've activated a, a bounty or ran across an HVT or whatever, there just seems to be a whole bunch of zombies running around while you're having to deal with, you know, whatever it is you're chasing down, your bounty, your HVT. Um, you'll notice, like, as I'm shooting this mimic, there's just constantly zombies all the way around. So we got the mimic down, definitely super strong. I wasn't really too stressed. We got uh, the tombstone schematic, which was awesome. I was going to try and give that away to somebody, but uh, there was no one left in the match when I went to leave, which was kind of sad. So I wasn't able to do that. But we did go ahead and find ourselves another bounty inside of Tier 3. On the way to it, um, I, I kind of found myself another Mega Abomination. And um, if you've been watching this series, you know I can't help myself. So we went and took him on with this Renetti. And holy smokes, like it is melting this Mega Abomination. We uh, chucked a decoy there to give me some breathing room, got some more ammo. We're using the Ether Blade to help clear out the zombies so I can kind of show you how the weapon shines against the HVTs and the Elites and the Bounties, opposed to just the standard zombies. Um, but you can see the damage we're doing is just astounding with this with this handgun. It's just melting. The aftermarket kit makes this handgun operate pretty much like an SMG, which is pretty sweet. So you can put some nice attachments on there to help with recoil and, and stuff like that if that's what you're after. But we were able to finish off our Mega Abomination here on the way to our bounty contract pretty much like instantaneous. I think this fight took uh, one minute, maybe maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. So we got some cash and a three plate. I already had a three plate, so not so bad. Got the cash, picked up our next bounty, and I was really hoping that this was gonna be the Mega Abomination bounty so I could show you guys. And I was in luck. I finally got what I was after, so I was super stoked about that. But what is this location for a Mega Ab Abomination contract? Um, this must be new because I haven't really fought many Mega Ab Abomination bounty contracts in this location. And I must say, it is not one of my favorite locations at all. There is a lot of zombies, like I said, spawning around while I'm trying to deal with this Mega Abomination. I'm so glad that the Renetti build allows for, 
you know, the fast movement and just being able to constantly move around. The magnet holding definitely helps, you know, not having to reload and having that constant stream of, of damage going into the Mega Abomination contract, for sure. Got his second laser attack here, and we just instant, like, vaporized his face when he did that, so that wasn't very good. He tried to charge me. I think he's trying to learn, and uh, he realized laser attack maybe not the best thing to do against me. Um, but we were here just focusing in on the head that was available to be shot and just constantly moving around. He fired up his last laser attack and got a decoy out for some breathing room and was able to take down the Mega Abomination bounty contract inside of Tier 3 with this Renetti build from the comment section. So thank you guys so much for that. This is truly an awesome weapon. Guys, definitely check this one out. If you haven't got the aftermarket conversion kit unlocked for the Renetti, I highly recommend getting that one unlocked. And we found another uh, bounty contract inside of Tier 3, so I went and picked that up. I was enjoying it because uh, in this particular match, I was the only player inside of Tier 3 for the majority of the match. Um, so it was pretty sweet, and I was just having a blast doing that. We got another uh, Mangler for uh, a bounty contract inside of Tier 3. The Mimic was there as well, but this, this Mangler didn't really stand much of a chance. Like, he just got mowed down so quick. I was thoroughly impressed with this. It was awesome. The critical hit damage, you can see, is really, really, really strong. So we checked our loot there. We got a Sigil, something I didn't really need. I've got all that stuff. So lastly, but not least, we got to go see George, the Guardian of the Arches. And uh, yeah, yesterday's video, I think we, we might have got George fired. He was not impressed with me today at all. Like he instant started laser attacking me right away, which didn't work out very well for him. He was already under half health here already. Like this is so fast, it's absolutely crazy. And George, I think, is going to get fired. I, I honestly feel like he's gonna get fired. I'm gonna come here and he's not gonna spawn in anymore. I feel like that's just gonna be my luck. So we're continuing to just con do damage to George inside of now tier two, um, as I bring George outside of tier three. I ran back into tier three just to show you guys like we've got all these tier three zombies coming at me. Um, I didn't have much of an issue trying to deal with, you know, crowd control while I'm, I'm fighting a mega abomination inside of tier three. It wasn't much of an issue. George's last head was there. You can see the damage. Like we almost had him if those zombies hadn't come and attacked me from behind. I think I would have been able to finish George off right there. Now ammo I was almost out of. But with this Renetti, you don't have to worry about it being like the underbarrel flamethrower and having to visit an ammo cache. You can just run over ammo. So I dropped my energy mine there as I was out of ammo and it blew up a bunch of zombies, which gave me the ammo I needed to get back to the fight with George. So we got the reload in. We got 375 rounds now to deal damage to George. And he's he's almost done. So like I was running out of time. The, the timer, we're down to the last final 15 minutes as I was completing this fight against George right here. He's trying to chomp me. I think he's getting really angry. He seems to be extra aggressive when I've come to attack George recently. So um, let me know if you guys uh, find George to be a little bit more aggressive towards me. He fired up his final laser attack here and uh, we finished him off right there. Got the uh, George kill inside of tier three checked his loot we got a shatter blast a score streak and some cash which was really nice but overall a super awesome build super awesome gun this is super strong definitely viable is it the strongest thing in the game nope definitely not that's going to be the underbarrel flamethrower until they patch it so if you guys haven't unlocked that go ahead and do it but uh thanks everybody for tuning in and managed to exfil out of the match as always pushing our successful containment level even higher we're at 202 with this character now and as always at the end of the video here's the weapon build i was using this is what the um aftermarket conversion kit does to the gun so um, if you have any other suggestions for the build, leave them in the comments. Other than that, have an awesome day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.